early on this season shaping up real good bro yeah i like how this season shaping up a bit in the mass but hey when y'all hear in the next episode soon man soon one eternity later So we have our fourth guest here with us today. What is your name or which class are you in? My name is Shoshana Jones and I am in grade six Magnificent. Six Magnificent. So Ms. Jones, um, do you beat the maths or the maths is big you? I will beat the maths. You beat the maths? Yeah. So you think you beat the maths at grade six um, upcoming, in your upcoming exam? Yes. You beat the maths. Okay. So let's put that to the test. So we have here, the table below shows the number of dots, X, that are used to make each figure in. Study the pattern and answer the question that follows. So you have the table there, and the question that follows says, complete the number sequence below to show the rule for the pattern. So we have n times something plus something equals x. So go ahead, the floor is yours. Okay, so we can, they're asking us, and what are we multiplying n by? So we can see that there's one here and a two, a two there and a four. So we can tell that they're multiplying it by two. And now they're asking us what are we adding to n times two. And we can see here in the column that says rule, they're adding it by three, which equals to x. And x is the answer, which we get by the number of dots. Oh, 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 oh. You think you beat the math or the math beat you? A bit yeah, I think it should be the maths. Yes. All right, so excellent, right? Excellent, excellent. So let's put our hands together for us. So we have our next guest here with us today. Um, what is your name or which class are you in? My name is Alia Young. I'm in grade six, magnificent. Grade six, magnificent. <laughs> so Alia, you speak the maths or the maths speak you? I speak the maths. You speak the maths. Bad, bad, bad? Yes, bad, okay. bad, bad. We will put that to the test now, right? I think you beat the master grade six? Yes. Okay, lovely. So the question says, a fruit vendor had a total of 10 oranges and four pears on sale. The cost of the four pears equals the cost of all the oranges. If one orange costs $60, what is the cost of two pears? So the floor is yours, go ahead. So you must multiply 10 by 60 since one orange and equals close to $60. When you do that, you get 600. So that 600 would be the cost for all of the oranges? Yes. Okay. For four oranges, exactly. But they're asking for two oranges now. If they're asking for two oranges, two pears, you have to get half of 600. Because we got four pears in total and they're asking for two, say half it? Yes. Okay. So your answer would be $300. So $300 would be the cost for two pairs. We think you beat the match or the match be two? I beat the match. You beat the match. Yeah, I think you beat the match? Yes. All right, so let's give her a round of applause. So we have our next guest here with us today. Um, what is your name or which class are you in? My name is Jamar Hamilton, and I am a pupil of grade six Magnificent. Hamilton. So, Hamilton, you beat this match or this match is beat you? I will beat the match. You beat the match? Yes. So, you beat the match of grade six as well? Yes, I am. Okay. So, we'll put that to the test today, right? So, this question says Jim's water bottle holds 640 milliliters of water. During the morning break at school, he drank one over four or quarter of it. Yes. How much water was left in the bottle? So go ahead, Hamilton. Okay, so first what I have to do is break down the 640 into four parts. Okay. It should be very simple. First I will start by, break, by breaking down the 40 into four parts. 
40 divided by 4 equals 10. Equals okay. 10. Mm -hmm. So what I will do now is put the 640 and then and then I'm going to break it down into two parts. So if I want to do that, I will have to put 400 plus 200 plus 40. I've already done the 40. So what I'm going to do next is breaking is breaking down the 400. 400 into into four equal pieces is 100. And now all that's left is the 200 with the 200 mm -hmm. milliliters to divide. So 200 divided divided into four parts is 50. So all I have to do is add all these scores together. Mm -hmm. So what I have to do is 100 plus 50 plus 10. Underline. This is all zeros, so I can just put zero down there. Mm -hmm. Then this five plus one equals six. I know this is one. Mm -hmm. So one fourth of it equals is equal to 160. Mm -hmm. One fourth of 640 is 160. Now all I have to do is put the 640 mm -hmm. minus this answer, 160. So my answer will be zero minus zero equals zero. Six minus four, I can't do that, so I'll have to take out one from here and then add this. Six minus 14, mm -hmm. that equals to eight. And then one minus five equals four. So the answer is 480, 480 milliliters. milliliters. That was left in the bottle. Yes. So this was 640 a very 640 milliliters were left in the bottle. So this was a very interesting approach and it's conceptually correct, right? This is excellently done. So you think you beat the maths or the maths beat you? I think I beat the maths. I think you beat the maths. Yes. Alright. So yeah, I think you beat the maths? Yes. So let's give him a big round. Of so we have our next guest here with us today. What is your name and which class are you in? I am Madara Adpan from the class of grade 6 and 8. Okay. So let me ask you a question. Just be the maths or the maths? I'm going to destroy the maths. You're going to destroy the maths? Yes. Not beat it, destroy it? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Very confident. Love to see it. So this question says, The shape below represents a fence around a garden. And you have the shape there. And they ask you now, what is the value of y? So uh, go ahead. So this is six meters, which lines up with my one. One meter is also lines up with my one. So I put six meters plus four meters, which is equal to ten meters. That means that line y will be equal to ten meters. Why is it called 10 meters? So you think you beat the maths here? You destroy the maths or the maths destroy you? I destroy the maths, just the process. So, okay, beat the maths or the maths beat him? Beat the maths. All right, so let's give it a look. So we have our next guest here with us today. Um, what is your name or which class are you in? My name is Maya Williams and I'm from grade six now. Maya, Maya, you used to beat this maths or this maths beat you? Sometimes the maths beat you. And sometimes you beat the maths? Yeah. Okay, let's see if you will beat this math today. Right? Yes. So Maya, your question says, so we have a, a, a frequency table, a tally chart, and you're asked to complete the table by filling in the missing value. So you have dog, cat, horse, goat, and pigeon, and you have some tally and then a frequency. So the floor is yours. Go ahead. So, six. You have to start by a tally by writing one, two, three, four, and then cross, which mm -hmm. makes five. Okay. And one, two, three, four, 
and five makes five and one six so so the six goes here mm -hmm. now pigeon one two three four five six seven and this makes seven okay so the was the answer tell you stroke across that means five yes. and they add on it to make seven yes so you think you beat the master or the master too? I beat the maths of grade 6 as well? Yes. So I think you beat the maths? Yes. Alright, so let's give her a round of applause. Fire!